so this video begins on Miami Beach. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. Not my first time in Miami, but I've returned to do something I've always wanted to do. That's right. Say hello to my little vlog. Hello everyone, hola, and welcome to the Miami filming locations of Oliver Stone's Scarface. We are dressed to impress today. So Miami, I am Tampa J of Tampa. This is Chris the girl, my beautiful fiance of Tampa as well. You're looking good. Ready to go to the beach. It's right there behind you. Chris the girl gonna dip her toes in the sand today as we're tracking down the locations of Scarface. Now I am super nervous. I gotta set this up properly. This movie was a big deal to me as well it may have been to you out there when you were 13 years old that's when i first watched it i had a scarface poster on my wall i could quote this movie uh manolo grab the yayo shoot that piece of beep yep violence uh language in this movie just a fair fair warning um yeah so i've been wanting to come down here to ocean drive and show you these locations for a long time specifically the chainsaw scene that scene legendary was filmed right out here in miami beach and i'm going to show you where it went down show you what the locations look like today right here in this video thanks for watching if it's your first time here subscribe below and come on back because there is always much ahead and we begin these locations on ocean drive this used to be a two-way road for vehicles now as you can see there's a bike lane here so keep that in mind oh these these folks are excited and we're looking for the chainsaw scene. I'm gonna start where the scene begins and we're gonna go all the way through to where it ends, right out here in the street. Now a little spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie, it ends with Tony Montana shooting the dude that hacked up his friend with a chainsaw right out here in the street. And the scene begins at 1250 Ocean Drive. The Carlisle, this hotel right here, is the establishing shot of when you first see South Beach in Scarface. The Carlisle and the Leslie. The camera angle a little different. I will give you the then and now screenshot comparisons of the time of the movie, the movie, and now what it looks like today. And then the camera progresses, it turns this way, and this road right here, 13th and Ocean, you see the car with Manolo, Tony, and the other fellow with the hat in it. They are first coming down into the scene down this street. And in the screenshot, you can make out the corner of the Carlisle, the railing, and right there above the USA Today newspaper box, you can see Ocean Drive. And way out, you can make out the tall hotel, the Spanish tile, and also the hotel to the right. That hotel to the right, by the way, I was here a couple years ago, that is the hotel from Something About Mary. I have now come over here to 13th to show you the spot. They actually stopped for a brief moment right here in the car before they take a right. That's when the ladies are passing by, Manolo's making passes at them, and then the old ladies pass by. You can see all this behind them in the car. I'll put this screenshot in there. The Impala, that red Impala. Notice the windows behind them. Specifically, uh, oh my gosh, they're almost the same windows. The car was sitting right there. They were all sitting there in the red Impala. Yeah, I'm standing here right where I think the car was sitting. There's Manolo's hand. He's looking up at the older ladies. There's the dashboard of the Impala looking out to Ocean Drive. It would have been crossing that crosswalk right there. I'll put the shot of them right there. I'm going to get a little lower. It actually would have been about right here. Check it out. And the front side of the Cardozo at 13th and Ocean Drive. Again, the Carlisle. They would have came out here and headed down that way. Now I'm gonna show you a quick shot again of this scene before we progress. More so in the middle of the road. I will put the screenshot into frame. Now look at everything around. You can make out the awning, the front porch of the Cardozo to the left behind the guys. They had just turned onto Ocean Drive right here at this intersection, check it out. They're coming straight towards me in the car, a little to the left right here in the middle and booking it down the sidewalk here it's actually a long walk we look at that there's a red impala just like from the movie 
just rolled right past. Now, if it was to make a loop and come around and park right here, this is exactly where they parked in the movie. This is where Manolo parked the Impala. And right there, that CVS 728 Ocean Drive, that is the hotel, the former Sunray Motel, where on the third floor, the front apartment on the third floor, that is the apartment where Tony Montana went to get the yayo and his friend was killed by the chainsaw, almost himself, and all the scenes went down right here, filmed outside and inside. This is a big deal. Okay, so this used to be a Johnny Rockets for years, and there was all kinds of, like this, tables on the sidewalk. This turned into a CVS about a year ago, and now it's clear, and we can see this filming location a lot better than I thought. I am recreating the camera angle. It would have been up. It was on a crane. The crane, the camera crane would have been behind me in the park, but this is about the same angle. You can make out the Boulevard, the Colony, the Sunray Motel, and the Beacon hotel all those signs the only thing that has changed is the sunray motel is no more you have to use your imagination things have changed but the grass the sidewalk are still there and the seawall out there there's some mangroves growing up now but this is where the car parked right here on the road across from the sunray tony would have got out and walked right through there and up the steps to the apartment. Okay, so right over there's the staircase. Obviously, we're gonna get closer, but I got this screenshot here to show you that there used to be like a railing there in front of the hotel. The brick along the former Sunray Hotel and the stairs today are in the same location, and some of the wall to the left, and the wall that you will see later, right there in front of the beach, in front of the Beacon Hotel, that, that is still the same as well. And here you go, folks, the staircase. Now the railing's different, but this is where Tony Montana walked up to the third floor. This has all been changed up here. There was a wooden staircase kind of built adjacently, and he would actually went up here, took a left onto the wooden staircase that would have led him right up there to the room. Right there, my friends. That's the room that it all went down. Wow, that's amazing. You gotta use your imaginations. They, they have changed things a lot right here specifically. Check this out. Inside there is the bathroom, or was the bathroom. And this little oval indentation here, the third one, that was the porthole window into the bathtub. So the bathtub was literally right here. Right there's the bathroom. That's amazing. And I'm zoomed in on that pole in the doorway. You gotta use your imagination. Things have changed, have been added. It looks like the door may have been increased. It's more towards the pole now, but that is the same pole you see behind Al Pacino in this screenshot in the same vicinity. That's the entrance to the room. And check this out, right next to the staircase. Look at this. This is the actual staircase that was used in the filming of the 1983 classic movie Scarface starring Al Pacino, Stephen Bauer, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, and Michelle Pfeiffer. This scene depicts the Chainsaw Massacre and is a world famous Hollywood landmark. Check that out right there. They're commemorating it, embracing it right here at the CVS where you can buy your drugs, dude. Well, you know. <laughs> Not the yeah, yeah. The steps are the same. There was sort of a tile on them, but right here in the screenshot, you can make out the far window and the wall of the hotel. This is now the entrance. Also that pole, that's the same pole you see behind Tony there as he's about to go up the steps right in front of his head. That pole has not changed. And this screenshot here, you can actually make out this column of this wall here. The brick was actually brick color in the movie along the top but you can see that out before the payphone in the staircase as they're walking up it. All right, Miami Beach Police, I get it. Okay, no trespassing. I can imagine there's a lot of folks thinking they could go up the steps right here and thinking that that apartment to the right is the actual apartment, but it's not. It, it's actually right there. Now notice there's no way to get to that room physically from the inside or outside. There is no more staircase that one sat here to go up to the third room. All these rooms over here, as you see in the movie, they're on the second level. This was more like the suite. Now, I think that's all been gutted out there. I think it's an open ceiling. We'll go in the CVS to confirm. I am now heading up the stairs to the second level, AKA the third level. 
of the motel. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the vicinity of the chainsaw scene. Right up here in this corner. Level with these windows. Now we're kind of mid uh, to top second level right now. This whole building's been gutted. Definitely on the second level of CVS today, but right up here in this area. Oh my gosh, actually it's been boxed in. But that's where the bathroom was. So right here is where Marta would have been sitting on the sofa with the Uzi. Right here in the health department. There's a lot of Mickey Mouse in here too. But this is the location, the coordinates. Wow. And I believe that goes out to the second level balcony. So yeah, right up there. Put some screenshots for you in the lower right. So it sets in. And then he would have busted out the window. So yeah, up here in this vicinity, that's where the front door was. Actually about, yeah, about right there, because they would have came around and got into the bathroom right there. And then the yayo, oh, this is the former wall where the chest was, where the yayo was. It was right there, and they would have went like that. So yeah, they look at this, right behind the cash register, they're paying tribute to Scarface. Look at this. They've got some pictures of Al Pacino out front. Also some cigars and some money up there. And this is perhaps the best screen grab to show you. This is a great angle. Check this out. You can make out the balcony of the third level where the room is, the Art Deco to the left of the beacon, the brick wall to the right of the Sunray, now CVS, those portholes beyond the sign. There you go. Check it out. Yeah, glad I found that screenshot. It really sets it up really nice. And here you go. Vanga, come in. Little did they know what was about to go down. Marta with that Uzi and the chainsaw scene coming right at you. I've got some slides here for you. There's the chainsaw, that was up. And when Manolo's coming to the rescue, him and Chi Chi up the staircase here, there's a quick screen grab where you can actually look down the first level area of the hotel and it's changed it is now ground level there were a couple steps and also where the staircase was that went up to the third level there was an additional like closet sitting right here that is gone let me get closer so you can see into the shadows check it out look to the lower left side of that screenshot where Chi Chi's going so this is that area today there were steps that kind of went up and there were rooms down to the right yeah, that's all gone, that's all changed. It being a CVS now might have something to do with that. Oh, and this is awesome. This is a Segway tour. They're talking about the movie right here, the tour guide. Yeah, I heard him say Scarface. All kinds of tours you can do in Miami. Specifically filming locations too. A lot of stuff filmed right down through here. We will be back. There's much ahead. Okay, it's really busy right here in front of the beacon. But here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the best I can. Here's the screenshot of Tony running after the dude right here in front of the street. He's gonna whip around him, get in front of him, and square up, point the gun at him right here in the middle of Ocean Drive with the car, keep in mind, behind me parked. This is what goes down. You can specifically see this wall back here. See the striped wall? It's brick in the movie. But this is where they're standing in exactly in front. I'm able to pinpoint that, this location, because they're standing right here in front of this wall. All right, I found a better way to do this. Check it out, here's the screenshot. I'm across the street in the park, zoomed in. Right there before that wall and that staircase, Tony, with his right hand, pointing that Beretta. And kaboom, that wall right there in front of Ocean Drive, the wall of the Beacon Hotel. And I love this shot, look at the anger. Oh, wow. He's ready to take over the world. Little did he know he was about to. The world was his. But you can make out the Art Deco right here along Ocean, the Avalon sign, everything right there. That's the camera, a brief moment you see him. Kaboom, ah! And when the dude's laying dead there and everyone along the street is screaming, Tony runs across here, jumps into the Impala, and then makes a U-turn, stops right there before the staircase as Manolo and Chi Chi are coming down. Manolo's been shot in the arm. They get in the Opala 
and then they speed off past the Beacon Hotel. And actually you see a couple people like right there before the staircase of the hotel as they take off down ocean. And that, this is the filming location, the South Miami Beach filming location to Scarface. And there's still much ahead, my friends. So much ahead. Come check out the CVS. It's awesome. I showed this alleyway in yesterday's video, not this portion of it, but I always get the Miami Vice City Grand Theft Auto vibes as I look down these hallways, virtually exploring it on the PlayStation up to no good in these alleyways. <laughs> Tommy Versetti. And here we are moving up to North Beach, leaving South Beach right now, feeling the vibes of Miami. It's a beautiful, beautiful city, beautiful area. Yeah, it is, sure is. And for this next location, finally found parking for 20 bucks. We drove around for about an hour. This is a busy area along North Beach. We're at this parking lot at the block of 4500 in Collins. And right over here is the beach and the boardwalk. And over there is Fountain Blue, the location of the hotel where Tony and Manolo are having the tiki drinks talking about taking over the world and whatnot. It's over here, yeah. I just wanted to show you that. 20 bucks for parking, and it took us a long time to find parking. <laughs> Very so, familiar with the side streets of this whole area now. We know it now, by heart, the filming location. Welcome to Miami, Miami, Miami. Wow, that's beautiful. Whoa! Got it. And right here at 4-4, 41 Collins. This is the backside of the Fountain Blue. This is the pool area where they filmed the scenes from Scarface. This is where Manolo and Tony had the tiki drinks and they were like, this is paradise. And then they tried, they tried to flirt with the lady by the pool and that didn't work out. This is where that all went down. It actually starts out on the beach, but I just wanted to show you first. This is the location. It looks nothing like it did back then. There was a, uh, there was basically like a volcano looking waterfall in the center of the pool area. That's no longer there. Very tiki looking. This is very modern architecture. Totally different vibe. So the scene begins when you see a shot of the beach right here. You can't see the water right now because of all the cabanas, but the camera actually would have been way up higher. Pans over like this. You get this wide sweeping shot like you see in all Oliver Stone movies. And I paused it just right so you can see the hotels in the background along the former uh, boardwalk there, the perimeter of the hotel. You can definitely make out this one right there. Check it out in the lower right hand corner. Look all the way down. These are new, but all these are in the frame. Again, the camera would have been higher up, but this is the vicinity of the camera because right here is the fountain blue. And right there in that spot, that is where the former Tiki Bar is. You hear the conga music, that's where everyone is gathering right now at the current Tiki Bar. But that's where Manolo and Tony were sitting, right there, right in this area. So I'm gonna say this beach walk wasn't here back 40 something years ago. Now I look at the screenshots, but right here in this area, and we'll get there eventually, but this is where the former Tiki Bar, that deck, and the picnic table that Tony and Manolo were sitting at. All right, the music's bumping right here, but right here I pinpointed the vicinity where Manolo and Tony were sitting right here on this deck. Now keep in mind, 40 something years ago, things have changed. There's a lot of people walking around here in the hotel. Okay, so if you point kind of to your right there, kind of like up in there, right here next to the new Tiki Bar, that is where Tony and Manolo were sitting, like right against there. All changed. I'll put the screenshot right there below. And right here is we're soaking in the party, the vibes. I'm showing you the screenshots of the hotel as Elvis Crespo Suavamente is playing. There you go. The world was about to be Tony Montana's right there looking out at the beach. What's happening right here? And then they're walking away right there. You can make out some of the hotel behind them in the background. Check it out. Scarface. All right. Having a good time here. This is great. Wish we could stay longer. What do you think, babe? We can get used to this lifestyle, right? Hot. The world is ours. Yeah. 
until the American Express credit runs out. I don't think I'm going to be uh, nosed out uh, in a thing of yay-yo anytime soon. Uh, let's hope not, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is a far stretch, but notice the water feature, the fountain out there, and out to the right, you see some square windows. I made out those windows today beyond the current pool area, right in there. So you gotta use your imagination with that water tower. We're, we're about in the same vicinity where that went down again, right here by the bar. So I think we nailed it. Yeah, you can definitely make out these windows specifically, these square ones on the lower right, to the right of the waterfall in the middle of the pool beyond Manolo there. So there you go. That's pretty much all I can match up. The hotels are the only thing that hasn't changed. I don't think they're gonna change those, no way. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, that's appropriate. Shoot machine guns. Wow. They knew there was gonna be a Scarface fan out here today. They sure did. And the front side of Fountain Blue as we're passing it. Check it out. Right behind there, that's where we just were. So you can get the full 360 of the filming location. 4441 Collins Avenue. This is actually the main entryway. Right there where you drive into. Right up in there, Fountain Blue. Back there. The pool, man. The pool, bro. All right, it feels like Florida. Now we gotta head out to Davie, Florida. And then come back to Miami Beach. Gotta head way out, almost to Alligator Alley. Okay, so we're stopped on 95 in traffic. If you notice the railing in the buildings downtown out there, here's a screenshot of the green bus. That green bus was actually driving right here along 95 North. Just a quick shot, that was filmed in Miami. Not the same location, actually, I very close. It's hard to match up the buildings then and now, but definitely that was filmed somewhere out here in Miami. Actually, I think that pole right there, that's the pole from the screenshot, the bus coming this way. It's changed over there, but the same stretch as you see the same concrete barriers along the road. There you go, I'll put the screenshot in the lower right hand. Gotta use your imagination. That pole looks so old, that's the sign pole. But there you go, the green bus with Tony and Manolo inside and all the Cuban refugees on 95. And the next scene, Freedom Town, Robanga, uh, those scenes were filmed beneath the Los Angeles freeway, not out here in Miami, not down there. Actually, that kind of looks like it right there, but that's that was filmed in Los Angeles. And for our next filming location, you see that plane? It's on route to land at Fort Lauderdale Airport. We come quite a ways north of Miami Beach. Actually, we're in Davie, Florida. You would never know that there was a Scarface filming location out in this neck of the woods. Welcome to Long Key Nature Center and Natural Area. This park, inside of it, used to sit the Capic Tree Restaurant. If you're looking for it, the address is 3501 Southwest 130th Avenue here in Davie, Florida. But beyond the entrance, right here, th there used to sit a big restaurant called the Capic Tree Restaurant. I'll get there in a second to show you, but I just wanted to set this up as we're coming into this nature preserve because a lot of people have no clue that a scene from Scarface was filmed right in there. Welcome to the Babylon, Frank's Club, the Babylon. No, not filmed. The scenes inside of that restaurant were not filmed in here. They were filmed on a set in Hollywood, but the outside, the actual hotel was filmed uh, right here. The actual club, the Babylon, the scenes where you see the cars pull up and the scene where you see uh, Tony Montana run out after almost being killed after those dudes shot up the Babylon. Those outdoor scenes were filmed here. And right here I have with me a photo, an aerial photo of the Capic restaurant. This front area here with the columns there, that is where they filmed the scenes from Scarface. That's where you see them pull up to the entrance of the club, right there in that area. The actual Capic Tree restaurant sat right over here before the lake. The driveway though, the former driveway, 
was right here somewhere. They would enter here. This is where you saw the cars pull in the first time you saw everyone come to the club. And I thought it'd be cool to just walk up and try to pinpoint the exact area you see everyone get out of the cars and go into the club. Right here, some evidence of the former Capic uh, restaurant. Some columns right here along this walkway. Okay, you gotta use your imagination on this one. This is a beautiful place, by the way, to come and walk and enjoy for free. But right there is the current nature center. Now in that vicinity is where the former Capic Inn, AKA the Babylon used to sit. And the driveway would have been in this area. And I'm gathering that by the evidence of this right here. This is the former area of the fountain you see in the photo out in front of the former Cape Book, uh, Tree Inn, way out there, the first fountain that sits by the lake. And check it out, it's a straight shot back in that photo to basically where the drop off for the Babylon was, where they filmed the exterior scenes from Scarface. And here's a look of the lake over there, just to show you the water, the fountains would have been leading up to the hotel or the Cape Tree Inn, the Babylon, right up there. New building there. It's a nature center. There's all kinds of things to do inside of there. So about right here, before the entrance, the main doors of this nature hall, this exhibit hall, this is about the vicinity of the driveway. This is where those scenes were filmed. Here's another fountain that would have been out to the right here. There was a lot of fountains and sculptures. Actually, some of those columns you see right there, those are probably the ones we just walked by. Actually, those are in the same, yeah, about the same spot, the ones we just saw walking up here. I wanted to point out though, right here at the corner of the building of the Babylon, you definitely can make out those statues you see um, in the movie. And Tony's Porsche would have been parked to the right. If you look at the screenshot, um, you can make out then and now on the photo, between the photo I'm showing you, you can make out it's the same building. The former Capic Tree restaurant matches up pretty well. Yeah, this would have been the area that they filmed those scenes, the entrance of the club right there. Yeah, here you go, check this out. Some remains of the Capic Tree Inn, the former Babylon nightclub from Scarface, this column right here. You can definitely make it out just like this in the screenshot, look at that. See those? There you go. It's pretty gnarly, bro. And for the next location, we come to the causeway that goes right into South Beach. Right over there, South Beach. Over here near the water, right here in this vicinity, this is where Tony comes to make the call after the chainsaw incident over there on Ocean Drive. There was a payphone out in this vicinity. Now I'm gonna cross the street. I just wanted to put it all into perspective. We got cruise ships over here, the Port of Miami. You got the skyline back here. Notice this bridge leads over to Star Island. Back in the day, that's where all the Hollywood movie stars had their houses. So there you go, Star Island. You can actually see Star Island and Scarface in some of these buildings back here in the next screenshot that I'll show you. I'm, I'm gonna cross here Chris, the girl parked over in a parking lot. Oh, right there, that's where we parked. Just kind of staking out there as I come over here and show you this next location. I'm gonna do the best I can. And here we are. It seems like there used to be a pull off here, an old payphone. They could have just sat the payphone there for the movie. But this vicinity is where Al Pacino was standing. You can specifically see this bridge and the skyline has grown but you can make out some of the buildings in the edge of Star Island behind Tony there, or out in front of him in the screenshot. Actually, you see this kind of hump right here and this tree, could be the same tree. Here you go right here. Notice the skyline, the buildings out to the right, and the island, the palms, right here in the same vicinity as the payphone where Tony was making the call. Things have changed drastically in Miami. But that awesome shot, the sunset in the background, that's a very Miami shot with the water and the bridge. That was filmed right here. Right here, Al Pacino. Kind of recreating the camera there. 
as you see the payphone. Let's just pretend that that code right there, let's just pretend that was the payphone. <laughs> really doesn't matter, but you can definitely see what's behind him here. It was in this spot, in this location. Okay, might be a little delay. There's black smoke. Oh my gosh. There's like a car fire on the bridge up there. Doesn't look good. Looks like it just happened right there. The, the truck's trying to get up the bridge. It is gridlocked right now. Holy cow. You can see the flame. We're, we're just like stuck here. Yeah. Wow. Unless yeah. it just happened. Yeah, it just so. happened. is on the fire, the sign of white smoke that lets you know the water is touching it. Oh, good job. Good job, Miami firefighters. Fire rescue. Miami monorail. All right, now welcome to 2025 Brickle Avenue. This apartment building right here, this condo, very cool looking. Check it out, right in the center, Right up there, there's a spiral staircase. There's like a cutout right in the middle of the building. This is Frank Lopez's condo building. Tony and Manolo come in the car. They pull right up front, they get out, and then you see them meet Frank inside. And that's when Michelle Pfeiffer uh, comes down the elevator and they talk there before they go to the Babylon. This apartment complex, by the way, is called Atlantis. And they did film here. I talked to the guard, I walked over there, I did the right thing, and I asked him, I said, hey man, I'm a big fan of the movie, I'm sure you get this all the time, can I go up there and take a photo? And he said, I, I understand, I'm so sorry, they, they don't allow that here, but he said I could come out here and take a photo and do all I want. So that guard shack right there is screen used, you can actually see it, I'll put the screenshots in the lower right hand corner. When the car first comes onto property here and it is painted red as it was back there today that is the screen used guard shack as you see manolo and tony come to the condo for the first time they're about to meet frank and then they park right out front right here i'll zoom in in a second but you can see the red pillars and the steps and the door that they go up to now the tree's a little in the way, but you can definitely make out the red pillars before the door and the fountain. The car, both times, the limo when they first come to the hotel, or condo, I'm sorry, and the yellow Impala when they come the second time is parked to the right of that fountain down there. I'll put the screenshot into frame so you can see it. And then Michelle Pfeiffer right there coming out those doors, standing right there in the doorway before the red pylons. Different angle, of course, but that is the spot. This is Frank Lopez's condo, right here, the Atlantis 2025. And you're probably wondering about the pool scene when you see Tony come over after Frank leaves and basically propose to his, uh, to his girlfriend back out behind the condo at the pool. Well, that wasn't here. That's the next location, and it's not too far from here. This is really cool to see. This building, this architecture here, uh, very like late 70s, 80s, I'm really digging it. I'm glad that they haven't changed it. It's pretty cool to see that. Even though we couldn't get that close, still cool that we could uh, you know, see that right there. All right, watch ahead. Welcome to Key Biscayne. Gonna take a left here. Actually, we're a couple blocks from the last filming location on Brickell. Just make a quick left and we're heading out to the next filming location across the causeway. And hello Miami! Right there, nice shot of the skyline as we're heading over to the Biscayne Island. Welcome to Key Biscayne Island. You gotta come to the corner of Matheson and Bay Lane and take a left right down here at the end of the street on the right, no outlet. Okay, good night, Chris the Girl. 485 Matheson, right here at the end of this cul-de-sac, this house, right behind it, you can kind of make out the style of it, actually through those windows right out there, that's the pool where Michelle Pfeiffer was when Tony Al Pacino comes up and proposes to her, basically saying, hey, don't be with Frank, be with me. This is where they filmed that scene. This is Frank Lopez's mansion. 
very nice place. I'll throw in some screenshots so you can see what I'm talking about. This house sits right on the water and Al Pacino was walking up kind of around the back side of the house in the movie Frank had just left. Michelle Pfeiffer is sunbathing and she's sitting right there. You see the pool? That is the same shape as you see in the movie. This is sitting right out there. Michelle Pfeiffer would have been sitting on the point there. I'll put a screenshot in the lower right hand corner so you can see what I'm talking about. But that's where they filmed the scenes around the pool right there in Scarface. All right, there you go. Frank's house, Frank Lopez's house. And right over there folks is South Beach where we began. Check this out. Look at that sun about to set. So we're heading back to Miami, back to downtown. All right, I love Florida. That's gorgeous. And there you have it, Miami. Wow, last couple days running around the city in South Beach, tracking down these locations. And yesterday I visited the world's famous Fifth Street Boxing Gym location and where the Beatles stayed in Miami. It was a busy weekend and today, not the most difficult or complex as far as filming locations. It was just uh, a lot of very unique spots and situations with parking. And again, if you've seen Scarface, if you love Scarface, I hope you enjoyed the Miami filming locations. Again, the, a majority of the movie was filmed in Los Angeles on set and actual uh, residents and commercial places, businesses and whatnot. One day, I hope to get out there and show those locations and for the New York scenes actually filmed in New York. That would be cool too. I've been to New York a few times for filming locations and definitely we've been to Los Angeles, so much ahead. Robenga! You haven't seen the movie, but that's one of my that's one of my favorite lines. And the Robenga scene, the Freedom Town scenes, those were filmed underneath the Los Angeles freeways. If you in case you wondered, that wasn't filmed out here in Miami. So 100% uh, you saw the locations here today of Miami and I hope you enjoyed the video again. Subscribe below if it was your first time. I am Tampa J. This is Chris the Girl who also has a YouTube channel. Go check out her channel. My lovely fiance was vlogging it up today too. Kind of the background. Basically everything that you didn't film, I filmed. That's right. Yes, yeah, so if you want the whole story. It's kind of a behind the scenes to yeah, a filming location. Scenes, pretty much, yeah. Also, she has some other great uh, content, not just following me around with the camera. She puts out some great videos, so go check her out over there on Chris the Girl. And that's a wrap. Beautiful spot right here to end it. Wow. Amazing. Look at that. It doesn't look real. It, it looks like it we're out on green screen right now. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of the Chicago skyline a little bit off of Lake Michigan. It is growing. I keep saying that. These buildings just keep popping up down here in South Florida. It's, it's quite remarkable. But it's over. That's right. See you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Watch ahead. The world is ours. That's right. All of us. The world is yours. Such a beautiful sunset here. Okay, goodbye. Much ahead.